Welcome to the warm up, everybody. Thanks again for joining us. We are into district play pretty much everywhere across the state. So this is where things really get heated up. So we need to get you warmed up. A lot more teams have buys this week, but there's still some good football to be played. Let's get things started by taking a look at some key week six matchups in our Louisiana hot sauce hot zone. Big 10 5A Division I battle tonight at Trailer Stadium as Fullshear takes on Angleton. Fullshear is a heavy favorite to make a deep playoff run, but Angleton could be the hardest competition in the regular season. So far, the Chargers have done what they are accustomed to doing, which is score, score, and score some more. Davion Godley is a dangerous running back that leads a ground attack that has helped Fullshear average over 48 points a game and race out to their 4 0 record. Angleton is coming off a district loss to Magnolia. They're already behind the eight ball as far as the district title is concerned. The Wildcats have a solid secondary led by Jaden Petway and Ryland Brown. They'll have to limit Fullshear's possessions, so expect Angleton to try and use a ground and pound approach so they can control that clock. We've mentioned how 21-6A is a monster district. The top four teams are ranked in the top seven in the greater Houston area. Well, it's only a matter of time before these four teams start playing each other, and Friday is that night. North Shore visits Sheldon ISD Stadium to take on C.E. King to give us some clarity on how talented each of these teams are. They're both undefeated, but North Shore has yet to be challenged. They've won their four games by an average of 38 points per. Caleb Bailey has had fun with his wide receiver toys as Dion DeBlanc, Christopher Barnes, and Terrence Guillory have benefited from the talented junior's strong arm. C.E. King had to go into overtime last week to beat Umble and remain undefeated. Ray G. Daly is a playmaker for the Panthers as King hopes to use home field advantage to pull off a surprise upset. The Hot Zone is presented by the original Louisiana brand hot sauce. When you need to bring the heat, make all your game day snacks better with Louisiana hot sauce. Enjoy the authentic flavors of ancient recipes. So thin, so crisp, so good, so chill. We caught up with Pearland Dawson defensive end and Texas Tech commit Eddie Smith on the recruiting trail presented by So Chill Chips and Salsa. What's up? My name is Eddie Smith. I play edge at Dawson High School. Texas Tech is Going up there, it felt like home. And then through the, throughout my recruiting process, they was always communicating with me and my family. And my family really liked that. And I like Coach McGuire. He, he's like a father figure. He's not, uh, he's not like one that just, just there and not bonding with the players. He's always there. I could play. I can play multiple positions wherever you need me. I can play OOB, I can cover, I can go to DN, I can pass rush, I can run stop. If you need me to play the two, I can play the two. That's just what makes me different. I love the intensity. I can't really say about the offense, but the defense, I love how everybody plays with intensity. If somebody gets a big hit, everybody starts jumping up. We always help each other out. If there's, if somebody's talking mess and they get in face, we always back each other up. It's just, we all a giant brotherhood. I'm gonna miss the people I grew up with. They always supported me. Uh, I'm gonna miss the coaches a lot. And I've gotten a few teachers that I've had through all my years to come to some of my games, so I'm gonna miss them. I want them to remember a leader, uh, someone that the younger guy, even the guys that are my age and older, they could come and talk to me whenever they need me. We can't get our cameras to all the big games, so here's some other games to keep an eye out for in the hype. Big 24-6A battle as Clear Falls takes on Clear Springs. With Dickinson looming for Falls, the Knights will have to get this win if they want to challenge for a district title. Last year, all three of these teams tied for that district title, so you know these games are competitive. 
Landon Vessel brings experience behind center for the Knights. And Lakel McGowan is trouble on that defensive line. Started off 0-3, but have kind of found their groove the last two games and are ready for this tough stretch. Clear Springs lost to Dickinson last week, so this game is just as important to the Chargers. They're 2-3 and three as well, but their three losses have come to top 10 teams. Clear Springs has a speedster in the backfield with Zayshon Edwards. Should be an interesting outcome in this one. Jersey Village could put their name firmly back into the district crown discussion with an upset over Cy Fair tonight. If that's to happen, three-year starter Adam Tran is going to have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Cy Fair quarterback Trey Owens in an aerial attack. Both of these quarterbacks threw for over 2,500 yards a year ago, and Tran especially will need to be on top of his game. The Falcon defense has let them down in their two losses this year, and it won't get any easier against the Bobcats. Pick your poison on who to cover when Owen starts slinging it, as wide receiver Owen Carter and tight end Cooper Stevens are equally dangerous. If Cy Fair gets out of the gates on fire, it could be a long night for Jersey Village. Enjoy the authentic flavors of ancient recipes. So thin, so crisp, so good, so chill. Let's take a look back at who won our defensive title belt, plus we'll see who might come home with one this week in the buzz. Last week, we saw the Bridgeland defense just swarm all over Langham Creek in a dominating 52-14 victory. Bears defense got a couple huge picks that turned into points and earned them the title belt. This week, watch out for Spring Westfield to make a run at this title belt. Mustangs take on Spring Dakini. That'll be Friday in what could be their last 14-6A test. Been kind of a down year so far for Westfield, Strong defensive performance could turn things around. That's going to do it for today's show. Thanks for joining us, and we hope you are all warmed up for this week's Texas High School Football.